Okay, I'm with uh, Dave Burke. He's the general manager of the Grand Prairie Air Hogs. Dave, first of all, happy birthday Thank to you. Thank you very much. I, I, I know it was Dave Burke night last night, and <laughs> I tried to find one of those uh, University of uh, uh, <laughs> Rutgers. It's Rutgers. hard to come by in Texas, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's hard to say, and it's just you know being Philadelphia and Texas sometimes it's just tough to say. But anyway, happy birthday to Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, it. Just wanted to touch base with you, and thanks for spending some time with us. Uh, you've been the Airhawks GM ever since inception. What three years ago? Three years. Yep. Exactly. Okay. And so, obviously, this must have been some sort of change for you coming from Philadelphia down to this area, or, or is that how you came by? Well, it's actually, I was born and raised in New Jersey. Okay. And born and raised in New Jersey, but I always had a, a passion for sports, uh, you know, football, baseball, you know, basketball, but, you know, I just got fortunate because my first year in college, which is at Rutgers University, uh -huh. uh, I was given an opportunity to do an internship for a team in North Carolina. So oh. here I am, a Jersey boy, going down to North Carolina. <laughs> People didn't know who the heck I was. Okay. But, you know, I started off as a uh, groundskeeper, assistant groundskeeper. And then each summer during college, I kept on going back because I loved it. And, mm -hmm. you know, one of my fondest memories was my parents picked me up at the airport after the first summer. And they knew I worked, you know, worked, you know, like a dog. Uh -huh. and, they, and, and they said, Dave, and they thought they taught me a lesson. They're like, Dave, how was it? I'm like, I worked 80 hours a week and I loved every second of it. Huh. And you know, the you know the rest is history. So it was after college, I was given a chance to, to work full time for uh, the team in North Carolina, Burlington. Okay, North Carolina. sure. Uh -huh. And you know, I, and I haven't looked back. So you know, in, in North Carolina, got you know my first year, uh, I got to see Jim Tomey play on my team. Oh. The next year was you know Manny Ramirez and you know so on and so forth. So okay. It was, Real exciting, and you know, I just you know, all the hours that we all put in, every staff member here, you know, we all put in hours and hours. And yeah. during the season, it's about you know, 80 hours a week, but we love what we do, we love coming to work, and at the end of the day, we come to a baseball stadium. So, so basically, you, you're a testament to the fact that when you have a job that you enjoy, it's not really a job, right? Exactly. Yeah. E exactly. And, you know, we you go through some tough stretches, you know, mm -hmm. just like our losing streak right now. But, you know, it's, you know, we're going to overcome it. You know, yeah. there's always, you know, always a saying, the strong shall survive. And you know, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And there you go. God knows, you know, we're going to be pretty strong <laughs> after this. But we'll, okay. be, we'll, we'll be okay. Now, uh, what is it that you think that the average fan, what do they not know about you as far as your job is? What is it that you do that we don't know about? Uh, you know, I don't know if there's anything, you know, per se. I mean, I think there's some, there's a misconception that we just come here at 5 o'clock and open up the gates and, you know, but there's a lot of planning that goes involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, when the team's away, mm -hmm. we come to work from you know from eight to five every you know every morning. Mm -hmm. you know, when the team's home, we're working from eight in the morning to midnight. Mm -hmm. You know, every day. And you know, maybe if there's you know one thing, maybe it's that. I mean, we mm -hmm. handle everything here at the stadium. Sure. So it's you know it encompasses a lot. But yes. it's you know again, we love what we do. Sure. I'm, and I'm thoroughly blessed with a great staff. Good. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better group of staff members, both full-time and part-time, and not to mention our players. Mm -hmm. You know, our players, mm -hmm. our coaching, you mm -hmm. know, staff, mm -hmm. and we're led by, you know, one of my, you know, best friends, uh, Pete Cavillian. Sure. Well, one of the things that I know, and, and of course, I'm not just saying this because you're here, but I've, everybody I talk to says, oh, Dave is such a great guy. And, 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 and I can tell you firsthand, I mean, you're a class guy, and it's been, a, it's been nice uh, knowing you so far, and I enjoy, you know, seeing you at the ballpark. Now, one of the things I did want to question you about is, like in the off season, uh, is it, does it work, does it get any easier for you? Or? It gets easier because it's down to 40 hours a week. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, you know, and you know, some of the staff members want to take a day off here and there. I'm, I'm always flexible because, again, I mean, they put their heart and soul into work here. So, you know, and I appreciate that. But it's, you know, your typical Monday through Friday. But once the season's over, it's planning for next year. You know, it's it's selling those tickets. It's lining up the promotion. It's selling the advertising. And, and, and it's booking events here at the stadium, mm -hmm. you know, that we can bring non-baseball fans into the stadium so we can showcase what a beautiful absolutely, facility this is. Absolutely, and it absolutely is, too. Uh, and that's part of the thing that's motivated me to come here every night is so that I could try to 
show the world what this has to offer. I mean, it's a great place out here. I love it. Uh, I had an opportunity to talk to Dick Smith, the GM of the Cats, sure. and uh, he was telling me that this league is a very viable league. It's it's a it's a very competitive league, league, and and he thinks it's one of the best leagues in the country. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I agree. I, it's definitely within the top two leagues, independent leagues mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have talent. You know the level of play is mm -hmm. you know considered by many double A, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of our guys get signed by major league you know clubs. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they move up the ladder. So the quality of play is great. You know, and, and it's still minor league baseball. It's still about the fans. It's still doing the zany promotions. It's, it's still doing the, the goofy stuff that brings smiles to your face. Because mm -hmm. if you're having a bad day, you know, you can come to the stadium and. You know, if we make you smile just once, we've right. done our job. That's right. Okay. Now, now, what do you see as far as, and, and I'll just end this by closing. Um, how do you, what do you see in the next three years for the for for Quick Trip Park and, and the Air Hogs? It's going to keep on growing. Okay. You know, it, it's certainly going to keep on growing. In the, in the DFW market, it's such a large market, yes. and you know, if we have that marketing budget of a major league team of Texas Rangers, then it, it, you know it could be something. But it's going to keep on growing. Every fan that comes in, you know, has a good time. So it's just keep on spreading the word. It's going to keep on growing. And in three years, we will win a championship. You know, mm -hmm. come you know, come hell or high water, we're going to win a championship. So, but you know, that's what's going to happen. And you know, we're always changing. You know, I'm, you know, as many people know, I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. I know that there's no such thing as being perfect. Yeah. But that's what I strive for sure. each and every day. So sure. there are a lot of you know minor changes that need to happen here at the stadium uh, that would better uh, further experience of the fans. You know, mm -hmm. so it's 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 always not being settled. You know, not not, not being content yes. with what we're doing is gotcha. always changing things up, doing what's right for the fans. So sure. It's, and there's a lot of things that we can do. So did you hear about the discussion about uh, the the ticket 1310 KTKC yeah. and they wanted to send somebody to pitch <laughs> yeah, how did that work out? <laughs> well <laughs> In trouble on this. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't yeah, ask. That's right. Now, I, I always, you know, speak from the heart and you know, tell as it is. But they, um, DJs wanted to come out, you know, do a promotion here at the stadium, um, and you know, they they asked one of our uh, staff members to call, and you know, we did. And we wanted to, and we were gonna oblige to doing a promotion with the ticket. Sure. You know, and we were gonna sign one of their DJs to a one-day contract. <laughs> They're going to promote it, and we're going to sell the, you know, have the DJ take an, an official at bat. Uh, so what happened? Then their sales department calls and said, "Hey, in order for us to do this, you got to spend, you know, fifteen thousand dollars in advertising with us." So my response oh. was, "This was your idea. Yeah. I mean, it's a bait and switch. Yeah. So you know why, you know." I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. You, your DJs were on air talking about it. We're going to make And they really solicited you because I remember hearing that. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Then all of a sudden, you're telling me that I have to spend, you know, $15,000 in order for us to do this. I said, and, and, you know, and just doing business like that really yeah. put a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah. It yeah. really did. And it, it wasn't, you know, I've been doing business for a number of years, and I've never encountered something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's almost on this Saturday, you know, the 17th. Yes. We're doing a military appreciation night. Military with our ID, getting it for free. And thank so you for like, doing, as a veteran, thank you for doing that. I appreciate, no, you know, no, thank, thank you, you for serving. But you. it's, but it's like us doing a military appreciation night. Then all of a sudden you come and say, yeah, I was a part of the Marines. Then me calling the Marines and say, hey, to get involved in this, you got to spend $5,000. Yeah. It's not right. Yeah. It is not right. So, it, uh, it's been a while, and I'm still so agitated. But Dave, what's the, what's the best thing you like about Texas? I'm always curious uh, about transplanted. What's the best thing you like? There are a lot of things. Uh, I think most part is the people. They're genuine. You know, I. You know, and that's how I am. Is I was born and raised in the Northeast. You know, and there's some good people up there, but it just there, there is always like a hidden agenda up there, and they're always in a rush, and they're always, you know. About each other, you know, and you know, up there they just have an agenda to get what they want, and that's it. Yeah. You know, here, it, you know, we care about each other, and you know what? If you believe, if you trust me, if I trust you, you and I are going to give 
our shirts off back yeah. for each other. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, that's, and that's just doing the right thing, you know, and that's just being good people. Yeah. And that's why I think, you know, the atmosphere, the, you know, the weather, you know, everything's beautiful, but that's what I think is most. Is there anything you don't like about Texas? When it's humid like this, when it's like Houston weather or Florida weather, I, I left Florida, you know. Okay. But now it's all right. It, it only happens every now and then. Any parting words before we shut her down? No, just thank you for uh, all your support and, you know, thank all the fans for, for what they do. Thanks a lot, Dave. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you. you.